at a certain point, you may want to remove a particular page from your website from Google search results, and you may want to remove that page quickly. One of the best ways you can do that is with a removal request. Let's talk about how you add a removal request in Google Search Console. In the sidebar, you want to click on Removals. From here, you can view any existing requests that have been submitted. If you want to add in a new request, click on the New Request button. On the request screen that appears, you can either remove a specific URL or you can remove all URLs that begin with a certain phrase. For example, let's say I want to remove a test page from Elementive's website. If I were to click Next here, this would remove only the test dash page URL. However, if I wanted to remove all blog posts from search results and all my blog posts were contained in the blog's directory, I would instead want to enter in the removal request as slash blogs and then select remove all URLs with this prefix. That way, any URL in the slash blogs directory, that is any URL that began with slash blogs, would be removed from search results. Once you click Next, you'll be asked to confirm the removal of this URL. If you, in fact, want to remove this page from search results and you want to make sure that this page no longer shows up in search results and no longer can derive traffic from search results to your website, then you can click on Submit Request. But please make sure that you really do want to omit this page from search results before you submit the request. After you've submitted the request, it will list it under the submitted requests and it will tell you the status of that request. When you first add in a request, it will say that it is processing the request. And once the request has been processed and Google's bots have gone and looked at it and taken care of it, it will come back with a status of temporarily removed. Now let's say that we change our minds and don't want this removed from search results after all. We can click on the triple dots and select cancel request. This request will now be canceled and this page will be eligible to appear in search results again. Also under the removal section, we have outdated content and safe search filtering. The outdated content section tells you about any reports Google has received that indicate there is outdated content from your website appearing in search results. Here's what this form looks like that anybody else can submit about content contained on your website that is no longer up to date in search results. Note that this is not something you should be using for your own website. Instead, if you have outdated content from your own website appearing in Google search results, you want to find other ways to let Google know that the content is outdated and needs to be recrawled. For example, you could resubmit the XML sitemap, or you could substantially alter other pages of your website that you know Google is crawling more frequently and add links to the pages that you wish Google to update. However, you do want to check this outdated content report to make sure that nobody is reporting outdated content about your website. Ideally, this is blank. Under Safe Search Filtering, you can see any requests that have been submitted to Google indicating that there's unsafe, inappropriate content contained on your website. If you hover over the tooltip icon, you can click the link to go to the Report Inappropriate Content form. This is the form that other people could use to tell Google about inappropriate content contained on your website. I think it goes without saying that you should not report inappropriate content on your own website to Google. If you find inappropriate content on your own website, take it down as quickly as you possibly can and make sure that you understand why that inappropriate content appeared and put in place the protocols and the programs you need to make sure that inappropriate content doesn't resurface. That also applies to any unsafe content that is reported in Google Search Console. If other people are reporting unsafe content exists on your website, you want to address that right away. If you have any questions about temporary removals, outdated content, safe search filtering, or any other part of Google Search Console, please let me know. You can email me at matthew at elementive.com. If you like this video and would like to see more like it from Elementive, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.